What up, guys? Your boy Quake and Drake released his diss track and hip hop responded. Everybody was in shock. Obviously, when the track first came out, everybody thought it was AI. Then it got later confirmed that it's actually Drake. And Drake went at everybody that went at him. Dissed Rick Ross, Kendrick, Future, Weekend, and actually named some of them by name. And people were shocked. People couldn't believe that actually Drake took that route instead of just potentially going one-on-one with Kendrick. He decided to go at everybody, which was the route I was hoping for. So a lot of people reacted to it. A lot of people that got mentioned reacted to it. And Rick Ross actually responded immediately with the track. So let's go over all these insane reactions from people. And Metro Boomin responded immediately on Twitter. He posted a photo of him, The Weeknd, and Future. And in that caption, he said, The Biggest Three, with hashtag We Still Don't Trust You, which is the latest album that he released with Future. And The Weeknd's all over that album, subliminally dissing Drake, as well as ASAP Rocky. Then from that, of course, The Weeknd responded and posted on his Instagram stories him grabbing popcorn and laughing on the couch, basically laughing off the diss like it's nothing, like, ha, 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 you're just making jokes. Because at at, in Drake's diss, he was actually going at not only The Weeknd, but he was going at The Weeknd's manager and clowning them and basically the whole team, just like The Weeknd did with Drake, where he was talking about your shooters, a.k.a. Baca Not Nice, is doing TikToks. So Drake responded with a favor by going at his team as well. Following that, Rick Ross went on Instagram and posted a photo of him in the studio and then a video of him laughing in the studio. And then we came to find out a couple hours later, he dropped his own diss track, Champagne Moments, going at Drake and talking about Drake got a BBL and he has a fake nose, nose surgery and He's richer than Drake and so on and so forth. And the crazy thing is Meek Mill responded as well. He posted on Twitter, damn shit really up out here. Now, what's got me questioning this is when Meek Mill and Drake were going at it, Rick Ross wanted nothing to do with it. But the second Drake and Rick Ross have an issue, he goes at Drake immediately. And you got to think the reason why Rick Ross explained in his champagne poetry track, the reason why he even went at Drake and unfollowed him is because he wouldn't clear a song for French Montana. So Rick Ross would go harder for French Montana than his own artist at the time, Meek Mill. So something is weird about there. If I was Meek Mill, I would be feeling some type of way when it comes to Rick Ross. Because I would say, listen, I'm your own artist at the time when I was signing Maybach Music. You weren't vouching for me. You stayed out of it. But you're vouching for French Montana, and that's why you got involved with going at Drake. I don't know, maybe Rick Ross and French Montana have more of a close relationship than Meek Mill, but that to me is weird, and if I was Meek Mill, I would have some issues with that. I would look at Rick Ross sideways and be like, is this guy really the guy that has the best intentions for me? But that's just me. I, I just noticed that it was very weird on you know on Rick Ross's end to do that. But moving on, SZA responded, and she got mentioned in the Drake diss, and Drake was just talking about how you're not in the big three, that SZA got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, meaning that they're they're way bigger than you and they should be in the big three more than you should. And then SZA responded on her Instagram stories with a funny video. So now why am I in it? And you could have did now, it. See, so I, I did it because you never apologized. 50 Cent responded to the Drake diss and Drake mentioned 50 in his diss and he said basically you guys got me acting like I'm 50, meaning like 50 Cent going at everybody, dissing everybody. And 50 took wind of that and then he started to respond. So on his post... 50 posted the Drake song, and in the caption says, all you ninjas got smoked by a light-skinned guy. LOL, y'all better get high as a motherfucker and come up with something. <laughs> Which, <laughs> that, that's funny in its own way. You guys better get high and figure out some creativity because this is up and it's up. And that's 50's opinion on Drake's diss. He felt like, hey, you know, Drake smoked all of them, so, you know, everybody has to come up with their own diss record, and I'm already hearing Kendrick's getting something cooked up. So, moving forward... LeBron James responded, and LeBron was caught uh, before he was practicing for a game. He was in warm-up. He was rhyming word for word that Kendrick Lamar liked that verse. And if you guys know anything about Drake and LeBron, they got a close relationship. So I'm sure that made Drake feel some type of way, but I'm sure Drake was like, all right, I'm not going to mention you know, LeBron James in my diss. That would be messed up. But LeBron responded to it and posted an emoji of an owl representing Drake's OVO, which is the owl, with a bunch of fire emojis. And then he followed that up with nothing like two heavyweights doing what they do best for the love of the sport. And I agree wholeheartedly. Competition, as long as it doesn't get crazy and violent, this is what we like. Two of the best sparring 
and, you know, given their best musically. Continuing on, Memphis Bleak responded. Memphis Bleak has had his own beefs, and, of course, he's basically Jay-Z's right-hand man. He put a bunch of laughing emojis and said, this shit crazy out here, rap heating up again. 100%, man. This is probably one of the craziest couple days in hip-hop, I think, ever on social media and just internet age-wise because it's been ridiculous. The past, like, three, four, basically three weeks, you could say, has been something where we're expecting something, and then Drake, you know, Kendrick says this, J. Cole, this is, then apologizes, and then Drake comes out of nowhere. We're thinking it's AI, is it a leak? And then, you know, Future Metro Boomin drop another album dissing Drake, and it's just a bunch of stuff going on at once. Rick Ross responding within a couple hours. So, yeah, I agree with Memphis Bleak. It's probably one of the craziest weeks. Then J. Electronica, who's obviously featured on, uh, you know, the Kendrick Control verse, Big Sean featuring uh, Kendrick and J. Electronica, and then, Eventually, Jay Electronica got mad at Kendrick for that verse because it basically took the shine away from Big Sean and Jay Electronica, and everybody was paying attention to the Kendrick verse. But he responded, and it was of a movie clip, and it's hilarious because it's like a sergeant talking about you know a bunch of people going against one person, and that's what Drake's basically doing. 20v1 is what Drake said on the diss track, so check it out. You want a war you can't win? Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that many. Don't forget one thing. What? A good supply of body bags. Hey, <laughs> that's a hard clip, man. A good supply of body bags. Drake's done his thing so far, man. So it's going to be interesting to see what, what everybody responds with with their own music because we already got a Rick Ross response in hours, and Rick Ross took the more comedy route. I mean, he did spit some bars here and there, but he took more of a comedy route. So that's interesting in itself. Mike Jones responded. So I know if you guys, if you guys have no idea what Mike Jones is, Basically, a huge artist in 2005, blew up in Houston and, you know, took the world by storm. 281-330-8004, which is his number he was calling out. And he was saying, who, Mike Jones? Yeah, Mike Jones actually responded because Drake in the song said, drop and give me 50, drop and give me 50. That is an actual song for Mike Jones. It's called Drop and Give Me 50, featuring Hurricane Chris. She busting it wide open with shaking on the floor. I love that record. Anyways, it's Mike Jones. Posted a, this is the Drake's stimulus package. This is Drake's impact on any artist, whether it has anything to do with him or not. Posted that his drop and give me 50 record within a couple hours of that Drake disc releasing gained 300,000 plays. And his caption, he said 300,000 plays out the blue, 100 emojis. So that's an insane boost. 300,000 plays immediately just off Drake saying drop and give me 50 which I wish Drake would have kind of used that Mike Jones track in a way. But, and if you look more deep into that uh, drop and give me 50 line, yeah, it's talking about, you know, TDE's uh, split on Kendrick's label and how Kendrick's getting 50% and TDE's getting 50%. But think about this. Drake was comparing himself a lot to Michael Jackson and Michael Jordan. And in the song, he's basically, with saying drop and give me 50, he could be also referring to Mike Jones's track. And saying, who are you? Because Mike Jones would always say, who? Mike Jones and MJ. You know, Mike Jones. He could be saying, you're, you're nobody. Who? Like, who are you? That's another thing. I know it's a little bit of a stretch and a reach. But, I, you know, thinking about it, it's just like that connection would be really, really deep for hip-hop heads that know about Mike Jones' music. So that's interesting in itself. Regardless, it helped Mike Jones out a lot. 300,000 streams. I'm sure now it's even more. But just off Drake saying that got him streams, which is the crazy influence on Drake. The funniest response, I think, out of all of this is this response. So Drake, when the song leaked and came out, Drake posted a photo of Uma Thurman, the actress in the Kill Bill movie. And she's going up against like 20 people and it's just her. So he posted that photo insinuating basically, hey, I'm one rapper going up against all these people just like her. And the funniest response is she responded to that. And she offered Drake the actual outfit from the movie on her Instagram. She tagged Drake and said, need this, and posted the outfit. That is probably the coldest and coolest response ever. I mean, that shit was just funny to me. I, I, I don't see actors getting involved in this stuff, and that reference is just hilarious, man. So shout out to her for having jokes about everything that's going on. But yeah, that's it for all the responses, some hip-hop, some not hip-hop. And there were, of course, a bunch of streamers and just hip-hop people in general that were reacting to it, and social media just went a a blaze and people were surprised but uh this is just the start of it a lot of people think this is round one i don't know if i'm gonna count kendrick's verse on like that as officially around one that that's kind of the things this that started everything but 
Kendrick still hasn't dropped like a full, full diss track going at Drake. So I don't know. I think, uh, you know, as time goes on, people are going to kind of revise history. Because if you think about it, the Jay-Z and Nas thing, Jay-Z started with Super Ugly. But what do people compare? Ether and TakeOver. They don't talk about Super Ugly coming out first. So I think that might be something that, that happens where Kendrick drops the like that and people are going to kind of forget that years down the line and just talk about Drake's push-ups tracks and whatever Kendrick releases after that. I'm not saying that, that that's going to happen, but that's a possibility. So let me know what you guys think of the responses. Do you guys think 50 is going to get involved? Who do you guys think will get involved? Meek Mill, will he see some type of uh, you know way that, hey, Rick Ross disrespected me, he's going to defend French Montana, but not me? Or, you know, let me know what you guys think. It can get really, really messy really, really quick. And Drake doesn't really have, I think, a lot of people on his side. Maybe Lil Wayne might jump in if something pops off really crazy. So we'll keep our eyes posted on everything. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.